Hi, Francisco here. I hope you are all well. We've added new and exciting features and improvements to Salmon. And one of them has been a significant rewrite and extraction of its engine into an independent library with a very simple and user-friendly API so that now you can integrate it easily with your own web application. So the first client application of the SAMA engine was the mimicproject.com, which is an online coding platform for JavaScript, machine learning, and musical AI. So now we're going to open a few mimic projects running SAMA engine API demonstrators so that you can learn how to use it. The Mimic project is an HTML page with an editor that loads JavaScript and the SAMA engine library as a module. You can see here how the library is imparted and what are the main entities that are created. And this interface was put together to mimic SAMA's interface and show the high-level API calls of the SAMA engine library with UI elements and their callbacks. So something that you can do here is, for instance, you start the engine, and you can see on the, the DevTools console that it has loaded the modules that the engine requires to run, and it's running at 4400, hertz and with a two-channel DAC. So you can also load samples. You can create a learner worker which is a process that will run machine learning and you can also evaluate and type live code. So for instance let's run a concert pitch sine wave. Now, now we can make the sound more complex, for instance. change the language, the live code language on the fly. So for instance, imagine that you want to change the delimiters of the language from curly brackets into parentheses. I know, it's, it sounds very lisp-like, but that's something that you might want to do. And for that, all that you need to do is to change the grammar language on the grammar editor. So now it's failing because it doesn't recognize the curly brackets as the delimiter. But now if we replace all curly brackets with parentheses and evaluate again, so this is the low hanging fruit in SAMA engine and these are some of the baby steps that you'll start with. Now we're going to do some more sophisticated stuff and use a technique called FM synthesis. FM synthesis is a technique for which 
It is notoriously challenging to navigate the parameter space to find the sound that you want. So this is where machine learning can help. We're going to make a system that maps mouse coordinates to parameters of the space so that you can explore it easily by moving the mouse around the interface. So on the left, we have a two operator FM synthesis model. Uh, and on the right, we have the JavaScript code for setting up channels to send seven parameter streams to the synthesizer uh, and also to explore different presets and to create a TensorFlow neural network architecture for doing regression and for predicting presets based on the mouse position. So we're going to evaluate this code and now we're going to evaluate the live code. This will be our baseline preset and now we're going to explore random presets. I'm going to use this one, so I'm going to train the machine learning model with that with coordinates associated to that preset, and for that I'm going to activate the mouse input. Start. So now I've collected mouse coordinates for this preset, switching to the baseline preset. Now that I have all data collected, I just create my neural network. I train. And training will complete once the loss value nears zero. There you go. And now I'm going into prediction mode and starting the engine to see how presets interpolate. was a document where you can explore the default language. There are two more for now that you can explore with two more languages, Nibble and Rubber Duckling. The SEMA Engine Library is open source, of course, and it's available on GitHub and NPM. I hope the SEM engine is useful for you to build the sound engines for your own web applications and to learn about sound synthesis and musical AI. See you soon!